Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Alicia. Hey girl, if you're not, then welcome back. And today's video is going to be on tips to give yourself a flawless melted wig install. So tip number one that I want to say, the lace needs to be good. Better quality lace makes for a better quality install. But y'all need to make sure your lace is good if you want that ultimate meltdown. The hair quality don't really gotta be that good, but that lace better be good. If y'all have heard that TikTok, I'm gonna put it on the screen. If that lace so good. Uh, well, the main thing is you have to have good lace. That's the trick. I wanna tell y'all, it really makes a difference. Now you can transform transparent lace. Don't beat me up, you definitely can. That HD is gonna hit something different than that transparent. So I just wanna say that if you're looking for a super melted install, HD lace is the way to go and you wanna start there. But if not, to transform your transparent lace will be another video that I will have to do because this is HD, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to melt this wig in specific. So make sure y'all keep on watching this video and stay tuned to the end so you can hear all of my. Today's video is going to be on this beautiful wig sent to me from ID and Hair. I have worked with them before. If y'all haven't seen that video, go check that video out. They are a really great company. They're a fairly new company. This is very much fall ready. I love their new construction. Since the last time I've worked with them, they actually have reconstructed their wigs. Not only have they reconstructed their um, inside of their wigs, but like the, I just want to mention like, this wig is already ready. Like when you put it on straight out of the box, it's ready, bleach knots. You do not have to do anything the hairline is plucked you literally do not have to do anything to this wig as much money as these wigs are i really do feel like they're worth it because if you're a beginner or you don't want to have to do this whole process then this is perfect for you because it's already done i am going to be gluing this wig down and maybe putting some loose curls in i don't know y'all know me i can't go without the curls i just feel like they're so cute and classy all right so the wig is on it took me a minute I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the hairline with spritz and just hot comb it so everything is out of the way and I can truly see the hairline that we're working with. All right, so now that that is back, now I can see the hairline. I am not gonna do a ball cap um, for this wig install. I really don't like doing them anymore. I feel like they take too much time. So I just like to do my little wig cap on and I like to pull my wig in front of where my wig cap starts at so you can't see it make sure all the hairs are backing out of the way so you can see what you're truly doing when it comes to cutting ear tabs out you want to make a part as close to your ear as possible i want to take my clip that was provided to me and just clip that hair back out of the way and as you can see where this parting space is that is where i'm actually going to cut take my scissors and just go right in between. This just creates for a less messy install. And now you can see my ear is pulled out and it's sitting pretty much perfectly around my ear. So I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other side. So now I have the ear tabs perfectly cut out and as you can see, everything's sitting pretty good around the ear. I might've cut this one up a little too much, but we can always shift the wig. So this is another tip to know. You wanna pull your wig in front of the wig cap if you're not doing a ball cap method because you do not want it to show. So that's how you cover it up. This is like melting almost perfectly already. So right now there's a lot of hair that is not on my hairline specifically in the middle because my hairline starts like way back here so what i'm going to do is just section out some hair on where my hairline does not start at 
and this sucks a lot of times when it comes to having a wig that's already pre-plucked because I'm most of the time parting out a lot of the hair that has been pre-plucked so I may have to go in and do a little bit of touching up not too much and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right where this is pulled out at so I can just get it out of my face And so where this is at now is pretty good. I don't think I'll have to pluck anything. I think it looks okay. It's not as plucked as it was. But that's pretty decent. I'm not going to mess with it. Now when it comes to the sides, my sides are a bit low. So I'm just going to section out just a little bit because this kind of does come down a bit much. This is what we're looking like and like it already looked melted do we not okay okay so now we're just going to do the same thing for the other side so that's just the tip so the tip is you want to make sure that you are getting your hairline to mimic your own you don't want to have like this super low hairline of yours is not that way so try to do your best to make it look as close to yours as possible section out any hairs that you feel like are unnecessary and make sure it's sitting where your hairline normally sits you know that your hairline start back here baby do not pull that up on your forehead don't do it i know y'all girls don't like to show that y'all got big forehead but i promise you it look better mimicking your own hairline than covering up the fact that you got a big forehead because guess what everybody know you got a big forehead and you covered it up and now we know what you're doing so just go ahead and just save yourself the damage and just go ahead and let it hang out go ahead and let it hang out girl okay so now I'm just gonna go ahead and clip my all my hair out the way I am going to be gluing this wig down I have some things to do this weekend and your girl wants to look cute this wig might be my new go-to wig because I love me a good blonde wig I love me a good blonde wig I think it complements my skin well and I think this one complements my skill skin really well also the next tip is going to be take a concealer shade and just outline where your wig stops at you can either use a lighter color or a darker color sometimes i like to use a darker color it just depends and you're going to line where your wig is stopping at this is so you can know where to stop your glue at I know it seems like a lot but I can promise you this is going to help when it comes to having that extra glue because a lot of times once you get glue on the head it is really really hard to get off unless you are scrubbing alcohol so the next step you want to go ahead and clean your skin I don't have my alcohol in front of me do as I say not as I do so go ahead and clean your skin I am going to go in with my skin prep from bold hold this is optional you don't have to do this I just feel like it makes your installs last longer and I am a sweaty person so I just feel like this this helps me out to like seal in my wig installs and now I want to go in with my bold hold active lemon burr scent I like to do two to three if I'm not gonna keep it on long so I may just do two because I want to be sitting here all day Once I get my first layer of glue laid down, I go ahead and take some type of wipe. You can also use alcohol and I just clean off the concealer. I do it before because I don't want to have like this light line underneath my wig. So I just go ahead and wipe it off before I do my next layer.
Now that it's clear for the most part, the size is kind of in my hair, so that's why it looks white. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it down. This is when I touch up. So anything that's lifted a little bit or doesn't have glue on, I either go in and cut the extra lace off if it's not necessary or take some glue and just touch up. So right here, I don't wanna cut this off. I wanna keep this. So I'm just gonna use the end of my comb and just touch up. So this tip I would say is to never feel like you have to put too much glue. You can always go in and touch up. So I definitely recommend touching up your wigs versus like putting too much glue because one, it's much cleaner and you don't have to worry about scrubbing glue off. Okay, now that I have all that on there, I'm gonna go ahead and put my elastic band on using spritz. I just really feel like this is another tip spraying spritz on your hairline it just does something to it it just literally it's like spray invisible in the bottom it just does something and i don't ever see myself going back to not using spritz so if you don't use it go get it everything will be linked in my description box down below and you can get it from my amazon storefront so what i do is i like to spray up close and pet i feel like that makes a difference to me, it makes a difference. So instead of spraying it across your hairline like this, I get close up and pat it in with my finger. So I just do a couple sprays and I just pat it down just to make sure it's not gonna run. And you gotta kind of move quick when you're doing this part. All right, now I'm about to go ahead and take off my elastic band. Ever so carefully. So I like to go ahead and just comb out the hairline because after you take that elastic band off, a lot of times the hairline is crusty. And I'm going to go in with my edge wax all along the hairline. I'm just going to take my makeup brush. This is the same brush that I used to put my makeup on. And I'm just going to brush this along the lace line. I'm using my foundation shade. Y'all seeing it? All right, so this is the hairline. I do think that it's pretty good for like it to be ready straight out of the box. I think it's a very, a very good plucked hairline. I think it looks natural. It's not too thin, not too thick. So yeah. Another thing I really like about this wig is the parting space is so good. This wig really looks so natural. This really looks like it's my real hair. Coming straight out the scalp with it. I think I'm gonna do a side part.
I'm gonna take my wax stick and go ahead and clean up this part, make this part more flat. And also I'm gonna take my hairspray. I really love even. I'm just gonna go all along my hairline with it. Mm, I might do a baby hair right there. Another tip for a flatter install when it comes to making sure your wigs are super flat, you want to go in and section when you hot comb. This will help make it flatter, um, especially when you have frontals that are more full like this one. It's a lot more space to part. It's harder to lay those hairs down. So you can just go in in sections and hot comb it. So when it comes to baby hairs, you want to cut. I always cut above the eyebrow just because I feel like it sits perfectly. And I cut all mine even. For some reason it just never, it just never does right when I don't. When I go down here, um, I do the same thing because I don't like the way it sits when it's not even. Any flat iron, you can choose to curl up or down it doesn't really matter I always curl up just because i feel like when you're doing other people's hair it's easier because sometimes you may be afraid to burn them so if you curl up you're less likely to burn someone and curl as tight as possible this is the next tip that i would say and i don't know if this is the final tip um I'm going to count them when I edit it so y'all will know, but a mini flat iron really helps with your edges coming out a lot better. I used to do edges with uh, Gorilla Snot and Mousse. I now recommend using hairspray. I feel like it comes out a little bit better, looser, like more natural, not as stiff looking. It just depends on what your desired outcome is i spray the hairspray on the comb part of the edge brush and i just comb it into the hairs as i swoop and i've been liking the hairspray because it has been to me it dries faster so i don't have to worry about manipulating too much because once it's set, it's set. You can't mess with it anymore. And then also, I don't have to worry about my lace lifting with using mousse or any wet product. I'm going to just brush it into the hairline. Very natural, very thin edges. You can kind of wait till your hairspray dries a little because when it's wet, it really can't do anything. It's like when it gets sticky is when it's working the best and I never really touch the end of the edges I'm only swooping the beginning like what I want to lay down because we still want that curl to stay if y'all watch um, Chelsea J on YouTube I feel like this is like her color this is like 
the color I'll always see her with. It is very much her. It's very much giving. She always looks great. But I feel like this is kind of like similar to the hair she always has. And if you want looser baby hairs, like more um, not as molded is the word, you can just take your edge brush and comb them through. If you don't curl under, the hairs will come back up, but you can just use a little bit more hairspray just to mold it back down. But yeah, if you choose to curl under, you can comb your baby hairs out and that will make them look a lot more soft if that's the desired look you're going for last tip of the day. <laughs> all right and this is the end look make sure you go hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed I like this video for me it really helps me out and i will see y'all in my next video hey yo eric bring them girls to the stage because somebody's getting paid and free big slime out the cage